Good morning. Let me read to you from Psalm 85, verses 1 through 6. It says, Lord, you poured out your blessings on your land. You restored the fortunes of Israel. You forgave the guilt of your people. Yes, you covered all their sins. You held back your fury. You kept back your blazing anger. Now restore us again, O God, O God of our salvation. Put aside your anger against us once more. Will you be angry with us always? Will you prolong your wrath to all generations? Won't you revive us again so your people can rejoice in you? You know, the psalm offered as a prayer was given for the sake of Israel. <clears throat> the psalmist reminds the people of God that the Lord had... One, bless the nation. Two, restored the fortunes of Israel. Three, forgave their sin. Four, he held back his blazing anger. But the psalmist also recognized that Israel had strayed yet again and was facing God's wrath anew. And so he prayed for the Lord to relent and to save them once again. That's what this psalm is about. So what exactly was it that Israel had done to incite God's wrath? Well, after blessing them, what were they doing that caused God's anger to blaze forth? Here are a few examples. They chased after false gods and worshipped material things, idols, instead of the Lord. They sacrificed innocent children in pursuit of these false gods. They became sexually perverted both heterosexually and homosexually. Their leaders became corrupt, seeking their own power and glory rather than serving the needs of the people they'd been put in charge of. Drunkenness, greed, hate, slander, and bitterness had consumed the nation. You know, I sure am glad that only happened in Israel. I'd hate to think how God would react to any nation dumb enough to be doing all the same things again. Let's pray. Lord, we have become a nation that is sexually perverted. We have become a nation that carelessly kills innocent, unborn children. We have become a nation filled with greed and lust and hate and bitterness. We have become a nation filled with leaders who really only care about hanging on to their power rather than serving the people that they've been put in charge of. We have become a nation that chases after idols, material things, and false gods rather than chasing after you. Lord, I know you must be angry with what you see in our nation. Like the psalmist, I pray 
that you would forgive us that you turn your blazing anger from us and that, Lord, you would save us once again. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, friends. See you tomorrow.